everybody how are you doing i hope all is well it is really early i typically don't do lives this early but this is a special occasion and i am super excited to be going live really soon i'm just waiting for my guests um, to join me to start this live conversation but if you guys have not seen um, I had put out a flyer on my Instagram page for the live interview with the hilarious Kim Whitley. I figured today is Friday. Let's have some laughs. Let's start our weekend off with some feel-good feelings this Friday. And I thought, who better to do it with than Kim? So we're just waiting for her to join into the live so we could get things started. I love her. I have been following her work for so many years. I'm pretty sure you have. Listen, if you watch any type of content, um, you will know like, you know, black cinema or whatever. You will see Kim on every show, every TV show, every film. Um, she's been in Next Friday. She's been on Boondocks. She's been on The Parkers. Um, so many shows, so many stand-ups that she's done. She's an, a legend. She's an icon. And so, um, you know, you always got to honor those icons and those that have paved the way for other uh, comedians in the field. So she will be joining us very, very soon. Um, to get the conversation going. But like I said, I wanted to do something that would really make everybody feel good this Friday. You know, um, I've been looking at people's tweets and Instagram posts and people are going through it. <laughs> people are going through it. So what better way to just like sit, have a little quick conversation, a little 15 minute break if you have it while you're at work join this live stay with me um don't go anywhere we're just gonna chop it up with kim for a few minutes and just talk about her career um things that she has coming up what she's what she's doing what's next for her um how she got started maybe give some advice to other people that are trying to launch their entertainment comedic comedic career um she has some nuggets because i just saw her too hosting the breakfast club like this woman does it all so i am ex super excited to have her join me um within a few minutes i just got off the phone with her so she's probably getting some make finished doing some makeup and things of that nature it's been a long day for her too a long evening um she's been traveling so we're gonna keep it quick because her schedule is super busy. And um, when she joins in, we'll, you know, chop it up just a little bit and talk all things comedy. Um, maybe even go into, I know there's something that she's doing tonight, if y'all don't know. Um, and maybe even talk about, ooh, have y'all um, watched her podcast? That is my favorite. I love, you know, Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard's from Chicago, um, which I'm in Chicago. So it's really, really dope to see them two together and their friendship and the bantering. It's, it's so funny. Um, let me send her a request to get the conversation going. Maybe that's what I need to do. Just send Kim a request. join easily so just waiting for her to join sent the invite get the conversation going it should not be long guys um i haven't been on live in a while the last time i was on live is with my good friend jackie reed it's been a while when we were talking about um and just like that i can't wait till we do that next year too it's such a fun little conversation that we have all the time. It's my morning green juice. That's how you know it's, it's for real, like morning, morning. There's Kim. She just joined. Kim, how you doing, girl? I sent her a request. I'll send another one just in case you didn't get it, Kim. I will send it again, Miss Lady. 
There we go. Sent it. She just joined. Uh -uh. Says she's unable to join. Maybe she already joined. Maybe it's it. She, it, it already the invite already went through. Let me invite her again. Except there we go. There we go. Good, Good morning. Good morning. It looked a hot mess. What? Did you do or all oh, the lighting? Not you. I oh. wouldn't say you look a hot mess. <laughs> Y'all can look at it. Y'all This ain't the news channel. We're trying to figure out how to make this purse up. No, the lighting in the back now, they, that look real creepy. They're trying to help. They're trying to help. They're trying to help. There's a lot going on. When you're on the road, this is what happens. Yeah. That look good from the back? Yeah. I didn't want to do that. It's a little long time. Now, who balled my phone up? See, this is the problem. I wasn't ready for the phone situation. Oh, that's okay. That's a good morning. I, you got your coffee, tea. I got my green oh, juice. Good, Trying good, to morning. Stop. good morning. Such a pleasure to meet you. Like, you're, you stay busy, Miss Kim. I mean, Miss Lady, you stay busy. Stay ready. Talk to tell me about how you balance it all because right now you just came from the west coast to the east coast you're in delaware i am in, in delaware and i'm, I'm falling asleep in your face i was on the red eye <laughs> <laughs> i heard you was on that red eye catching a late night flight so that you could perform tonight how do you balance it all though you stay busy um crack cocaine <laughs> no um now look I drink my coffee, um, but it, I got a great team around me. That's the most important thing. You got to have a good, uh, you know, village. You got to have a good team around you uh, to be able to balance it, to remember, to remind you how to balance your life, um, but also to take care of my son, my house, my dogs, to be able to get on the plane smoothly, to have a great assistant, to have a great road manager to uh, have good friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Let's talk about your work though. Um, you've had an incredible career. Um, you've, you've been collecting, I said, you've been collecting IMDB credits like Infinity Stones, you know, pretty much. I didn't even realize that. That's what somebody... Okay. <laughs> you want me to that up? Erlene, Erlene in the background talking about what's, what happened, what, what's wrong. <laughs> Stones. You don't watch the show. You don't watch the movie. You don't know. Yeah. Who. So you've done like stage plays, you know, acting on TV shows, movies, hosting, writing, producing. Porn up. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I would love to know an area. Is it porn inside or outside of entertainment that you would like to tap in, tap into that you haven't? Hmm. Inside or outside of entertainment? Uh -huh. Um, you know that's uh, a, a, well. I tap into. I've, I've been tapping into producing, uh, directing. You know, getting some of these really good stories told. Uh -huh. um, that is my my next uh, conquest. And um, going back to my, my art, if I have time, you know, I used to be an artist in college to paint. But you know, I never really think about that. What else do I want to do? Because I'll be honest, it looked like I, I'm, 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 I'm just like a hard worker. You are. I, 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 I'm lazy AF. <laughs> I am so lazy. You know what? I, How? Where? No, if there was a job that I can binge watch something, that's all I had to do was watch TV and movies. I signed me up. That's the next conference. What early? Andre said, raise your camera. <laughs> so what do you mean raise it? It's crazy it's too low. He says it's too low. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Andre ain't first of all. Andre <laughs> producing my oh, Andre producing right here. I like it, Andre. He producing me. <laughs> Andre, he said, no, Andre sent me the message. Oh, he, he sent you the message. Nikia, Andre, send the message to her. But what about her? 
No, I did it too because I thought he was talking about me. I said, oh, shoot, let me raise the bar. <laughs> I'm going to sit down. I'm going to roll with me. We're going to be in Atlanta. When we gonna be in Atlanta? November second through fourth at the Comedy Theater. Uh, and Andre, I'm gonna throw some. I'm gonna sit in the audience and throw tomatoes. <laughs> no, don't do that to Andre. But let's talk about what you're doing. Uh, huh? Let's talk about what you're doing uh, tonight. You're performing at the uh, Wilmington Library for the Kim of Comedy event. I would love to know what the conversation was like in that group chat. How did this event even come to play? Because we got Kim Cole, Kim Fields, Kim Waynes, and then Kim Whitley. Let's talk about how disrespectful I am in your interview. You ain't <laughs> nobody in your interview adjusting lights, angles. Now, I like that color light. I'm, okay, so listen, Andre, first of all, tell Andre to, to get off your uh, IG. I don't even know him. Now I got to to sit here like this disrespectful. Um, so, like I said, uh, tonight at the Wilmington Delaware Library, uh, Kim Combs, Kim Fields, Kim Wayans, it's a free event. And we are, a lot of people think we're doing stand up, but if you really look at it, uh, Kim Coles and myself do stand up. Kim Wayans has probably done stand up. I don't know if she's still doing it, but um, it's going to be. A Uh-oh. We might have lost you. You might have lost me. <laughs> You're breaking up. Oh, to the Wi-Fi, I got one bar. Lord, we're not here. Okay. We're back. You're back. You got oh, you broke I'll, up. I'll pop up. It's T Mobile. It's gonna it's gonna do that. It's gonna pop out, it's gonna pop up. <laughs> I like your, your, your peekaboo shoulders. Oh, thank you. That's thank like you. a little sexy right there on TV. That's what you're doing. Can I, so, can I, no, but honestly, I, I'm actually proud of this shirt because I had gained so much weight and I finally lost like 40 pounds with it since last year, honestly. And so I'm able to fit this shirt now. And so that's such an accomplishment for me right now. So and crack cocaine, what you do? <laughs> no, I had gotten actually sick. I had gotten um, now, blood clots. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. <laughs> wow. You got blood clots? Yeah, I had it in my in both of my lungs. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me apologize. No, it's it's so fine. blood clots, so what, you can't breathe, so you can't eat? What does that do? So, so I was in the hospital, it could kill you, basically. Um, I actually was on a, um, a hormone therapy because I was trying to get conceived and trying to get pregnant. And the hormones messed with my blood and caused me to get blood clots and um, gain weight because it was, you know, mm -hmm. Hormones like you were pregnant, pretty much. So I blew up like the world trade. No, let me stop. <laughs> but no, I can't. Yeah. No, um, no, no. So I mean, you've been doing the nasty. <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do it a lot. Yeah. In the kitchen. In the. It was too. <laughs> it was too much, Kim. It was too much. It was, it was too much. much. I, I mean, I get it. At a certain age, it's gonna be too much. Boy, back today. Whoa! Okay. I, I got work to do. I have work to do. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, you got no, no. That is work. You want to have a baby? I need you to be looking at that calendar. I, get them dates together. Population dates. I was, get them. <laughs> it was too much. I'm telling you. But this is about okay. you. I only got okay. Sorry. I was, I was really. <laughs> We could we could chop it up and, and, and when you come to Chicago, we can really delve I into it. I am coming to Chicago to do riddles. I am doing riddles, uh, Erlene. What day? It's on my IG. I'm going to tell you in one second. I'm doing riddles on December. I'm going to be with, I'm going to be, I'm gonna, we're going to come back to that. A damn shame. Because uh, yes, so I'm 
he, Damon Williams will be cussing me out right now, but I will be at Riddles for the weekend. Okay, so when you come for Riddles, we will sit face to face and do this and then have a little bit more time. But I do want to talk about the things that you are working on. Um, you know, you have the Bethesda Theater Comedy Show with Sherry Shepard, your girl. Um, Two Funny Mamas podcast with Sherry Shepard that you do. Um, Outlaw of Johnny Black with Michael J. White and Jill Scott. And then you have your own podcast. So, Kim, please <laughs> talk about, like, all the things that you have coming up. I would love to let people know what you got going on next so they can continue to support you. Let's talk about, let, I'm trying to get the comments off my face so I can see myself. How vain is that? Okay. So, all right, I'm going to stop, y'all. Uh, he was like, okay, I'm looking at, I wanted to talk to the people, but, um, you know, Outlaw Johnny Black with Michael J. White and others, and, and of course, Jill Scott, it came out in theaters um, about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We've been on strike, so it's been a blessing to be able to talk about that. Uh, you all got to go out and see that or when it comes out on the uh, streaming networks, hopefully. Please support Outlaw Johnny Back. It's really the spinoff or the second uh, birthing of uh, a Black Dynamite. So we did Black Dynamite. Dynamite. Now we did Outlaw Johnny Black, so we'll do a third one. I told Michael John White, I said, you better hurry up and come with that third movie. I said, I'm going to be on a walker. Come on, Johnny! Or oh, Black Dynamite! Now, I don't know what I'm going to be. I don't even understand. The oldest prostitute on earth is probably what I would Yeah, that's probably what would happen. Um, but, I'm sorry. Two Funny Mamas, you know, it's our award-winning podcast. Um, please uh, check it out. Me and Sherry Shepard, you can watch it on YouTube or or you, wherever you listen to your podcast. You were doing the podcast last night. That's why you're, you've been burning the midnight oil. You are absolutely right. And um, you're right. That's why I'm exhausted. But there's other reasons why I'm exhausted. Look at your little pretty face. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, the ADD is real. It's so real, Kim. It's so real. Listen, my time is up, and I want you to get some sleep, but you have to promise me one thing. When uh -huh. you come to Chicago, I didn't get we're going to sit down. After I get you the riddles day. Early! It is what? on my account. Lord Jesus, what is happening? He just said, he, you know, let me tell you something. He is, can, can somebody look on my IG for me and tell? I can look. Look on my IG. Nope, that's not where it's going to be. It's not going to be there. Somebody just, said this December 5th. Thank you. Thank you, whoever that is. Thank you. Going to the Riddles website, whatever they did. They, they, I will be at Riddles that weekend. Okay. I will have a friend. The Saturday Night Show, Damon Williams. Uh, I've never, I've done riddles like once I came, whatever. So please, in Chicago, come see me at Riddles. Thank you, December fifth. Whoever said that, appreciate that. Yes, I will definitely be at Riddles. I have talked to Damon Wayans before, or Damon Williams before. So many. Did I say Wayne? Uh, I said Wayne. <laughs> I said, you said you were from Wayne. William. You gotta understand. You know I ain't been to sleep. I'm gonna be with Kim tonight. But Damon Williams, the comedian who got a head like Damon Wayans, is front fiddles. And you know what else he does? The Martha's Vineyard comedy, all the comedy at Martha's Vineyard. Damon and oh. Steve, they've been doing it for years. Very proud of them. I love it. I, you know, I, I love comedians. I've interviewed Sean Waynes, Marlon Waynes. I, I, I would like to do Kim Waynes, all the Waynes. <laughs> but I've gotten a lot of the Waynes. So it's always nice to talk to comedians. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I'm trying to be focused. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited about your shirt. But thank you so much for taking the time.
<laughs> thank you and we will do it again okay I'm gonna say I'm about to email you a couple things to do to, okay to get the, the situation together <laughs> <laughs> yep you gotta do that a lot too you gotta do that a lot yep <laughs>